friends and let's continue to say the part of the of the cell and this uh, part we talk about the mechanism of the cell injury Mechanism of third injury or pathogenesis of the cell injury mainly depend on the two factors. First one is it depends on the type, durations, and severity of the stress. Which will depend what is the type of stress. Is it the mechanical stress? Is it the pathological stress? Or is it the physiological stress? Durations that or stress stay within the cell and also the severity. The second one is the type of the targeted cell, status of the targeted cell, and what is the adaptability of that the targeted cell. When we say ad adaptability, it means the threshold level that a cell uh, can handle a stress. Another associated uh, that uh, are not so very important, but the important one are that you've said the, the first and, and second one. This also can depend on the underlying intracellular phenomena, reversal mechanisms, and also the morphological consequence. Uh, what do the cell injury can cause the biochemical processes attack? And this injurious attack can, uh, this injurious agent attack several biochemical processes that take place within the body. We see the glycolysis, citric acid cycle, or tricarboxylic cycle. And also, oxidative phosphorylation that take in the mitochondria inner membranes. As we have seen that the mitochondria is one of the affected organelles once a cell encounter stress. Uh, in this uh, common biochemical pathway, the cell injury can do what we call the ATP depressions. Once it uh, affects the glycolysis, oxidative phosphorylations, and the, the tricarboxylic acid uh, cycle, we know that these are, are the biochemical processes that are within the body that are so essential in the production of ATP. So once these are affected, they can occur, what occur would be ATP depression. And we know that the ATP is produced from these biochemical processes. And also, and, and, and also can, it, can, it, can it cause the uh, production of the oxygen and the oxygen derived free radicals. I mean, the reactive oxygen species. These are so damaged damaging agents to the cells and that can cause the loss of calcium hemostasis. Loss of calcium hemostasis is due to the defect that occur within the membrane. It means there are defect in selective membrane permeability. Characteris uh, the defect in selective membrane permeability, which is a characteristic of all form of injury. As I have said that the cellular swelling is a uh, condition that is manifested to all forms of injury. So once the cell sw cellular swelling occur, can be associated with the defect in selective membrane permeability. So it will, uh, will allow the loss of calcium hemostasis. It means that there will be increased intracellular calcium accumulations. It means that there will be an entry of excessive amount of calciums. So the excessive amount of calcium within the cell is tox is toxic to the cell and it can cause what we call cell injury. As I, 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 I tried to show through this diagram of the mechanism of cell injury, if there occurs, the ATP depression will lead to multiple effects. We know that the ATP are so important in a lot in a lot of the process that take place within the body, like excretions, uh, like reproductions. So it means ATP depression will affect uh, multiple parts within the body. And also the mitochondrial damage, uh, the mitochondrial damage will lead to the leakage of pro apoptotic molecules. And also, once the, uh, the, the uh, increased calcium entry 
which is caused by the defect in the selective membrane permeability will lead to increased mitochondrial permeability and the activation of the enzymes. But which is the activation of these enzymes is uh, is so is so is so toxic to the cell and it can cause cell injury. Response to cell injury. A cell can in, uh, undergo what you call lysosomal catabolism. Lysosomal catabolism means there will be a, a destruction of uh, these residual bodies and also producing pigment granules. And also another response is about induction. Induction, as we have seen that in the reversible cell injury, uh, the cell, one of the, one of the manifestations of the reversible cell injury, the hypertrophy of the uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And this occur after the cell injury. Another is mitochondrial alterations. Mitochondria can be altered either in number, in size, or shape. For example, in the case of cell hypertrophy and the atrophy. That's who is the end of all our third part concerning uh, the mechanism of the cell injury. Welcome to the first part uh, which will discuss about uh, the irreversible cell injury. Welcome again, friends.